Hey, I'm Mike Wiseman. And I'm Dylan Stimson. And we're the real property team here at eXp Realty. And today, Dylan and I are at an amazing property in Harrington, Maine. Absolutely, we're here in Harrington and we got water on both sides of this property for your water lovers out there. It truly is just a fisherman's paradise, wouldn't you say? Absolutely, we're on about 20 acres of land here. We're on a peninsula with a dead end road. It dead ends down to right away to the water uh, with deep water access over there. Uh, off to my left over here, we have Mill River. Off to the right, we have Flat Cove. Yep. Okay. And what is, bay does it open up to, Dylan? Narragoygus. Narragoygus Bay is out there into the ocean. This is really, it's a really unique opportunity. Um, you don't get a lot of profits like this coming onto the market. Um, so we're going to check it out, walk you guys around it. Let's start by going up this way a little bit, Dylan. Um, off to our right here, I want to walk over here. This is actually a little fish pond right here. Um, it's small, but we're told that it does have fish in it. The road goes down about, I don't know, maybe five, six hundred feet, um, as far as you can see pretty far up the road here. It's all paved and uh, that's the land just keeps on going, going, going. So if you can see down there behind me over here. Okay. Now we're going to walk back towards the house. We're on Oak Point Road. Okay. Oak Point Road. As we come down Oak Point Road to our left here, we've got about a 1500 square foot garage. This is a commercial size garage. Current owner is a, is a retired lobsterman. Yep, yep, it's absolutely amazing. He's got a big boat too that he usually puts in there and like he said, um, it's he's a retired lobsterman, mm -hmm. so it's a perfect fit for yep. people of all kinds. Excellent. So before we go inside, I want to take a walk over. Now the tide is actually out right now. So uh, you have about an eight foot tide here. This is tidal access. So off to the left on Flat Cove, on to the right, it's Mill River but you uh, easily could throw a kayak out here. I mean, this is essentially, when you think of waterfront property on coastal Maine, this is exactly what comes to mind. On uh, the down east uh, part of Maine, well known for its uh, lobstering, its uh, clamming. Uh, you can actually get a recreational lobster and clamming license up in town office and do some of your own lobster and clamming. Yep, sounds good to me. Uh, okay, let's go check out by the water. Okay, so now we've walked over to the water's edge and behind us is Flat Cove and the view is unbelievable. What do you think, Dylan? I think it's pretty good. For anyone that likes this type of scenery, this is absolutely dramatized. I mean, you just got views all over and if this wasn't enough, you got more water on the other side. Absolutely. Well, again, when people think about quintessential coastal Maine property uh, in down east Maine, the view behind us right here is absolutely spectacular. It doesn't get much better than this. Doesn't get much better. All right, so right behind us here is the main house. And this house is 2,700 square feet. Yep, it's 2,700 square feet, and it's got two, three floors, actually, including the basement. Okay. Um, and it basically just has views all over the house of the water, too. Yep. Now, this house is set up right now as the front part of the house is the original house, and the back was an addition put on. It's essentially its own apartment, and above it, a second floor artist studio. It's really, really quite amazing. Yeah, it's really quite amazing. It's got a lot of natural sunlight up there too. So uh, let's go check it out. All right, so let's go check out the inside of the house. Let's um, do it. As you walk up, what I like a lot is you have the natural stone um, ste steps right here, basically a patio area. Um, off to the left, again, in front of me this way, is the uh, Mill River. Uh, he's got a little basketball court there, a little playground. It's really, really cute. Uh, a few steps up brings us to uh, a great front porch right facing i think this would be facing the uh probably the southeastern side of the house if you will right no, no i'm sorry northeastern side of the house right here yep and another cool thing to mention is that this porch right here also goes around the other side of the building for nice. a lot of good views yeah nice that, you're gonna notice as we go to the house um, views are everywhere from almost every window you've got great views of the water so it really is a sight to be seen okay coming into the main home we've got an entryway here uh, in front of us, straight ahead, is the living room area. Off to the right is the kitchen. So we'll start with the kitchen. Yep, let's do it. Okay. So uh, you've got a galley style kitchen here. And in front of me, we've got a gas stove, but I want to call out behind me. There you go. Look at that. Check out that view. Right? Doesn't get much better than that. Yep. You get a view right out to the water, uh, right out to Flat Cove, uh, which again, it's just unbelievable. The, the light streams through, the air comes through. Um, no air conditioning needed in this part of the part of the state. In this location in particular, cross breezes, perfect all year, perfect weather all year round coming off the off the water. So the kitchen opens up into essentially kind of like a semi-formal dining area, if you will. Yep. Okay. Um, we've got off to the right uh, a fireplace, right, which is gas stove. But yeah, it could be used with wood, which it was originally. Could be switched back to wood if someone wanted to. 
Okay, now I'm told above us here, we're not going to go up there today, is it actually attic storage? Uh, and below us, of course, is a full basement, which we will go down to the basement because that's also a really uh, great feature of this home. Yep. Okay, so right off the kitchen, we have got access interior to the basement, which is a great storage space and a workshop uh, with daylight access from the other side. We'll see when we get to the other end of the house. Okay, so uh, down here we've got a cement floor. Um, really solid, really dry basement. It's really important here in Maine, especially along the coast. Um, no sign of really any water coming in here at all. Uh, a couple things to point out is we have got a brand new boiler back here that was put in a brand new furnace, a new uh, hot water boiler. That's for your heat hot water, so um, that's really, really awesome. That's brand new. And we've got, it looks like we've got a bulkhead access right there to the front. This is the original part of the house, right? Where, we, where it was um, yep. first built. So we've got a stone foundation and then cinder block on top of it. And then as I walk through here is where they um, basically extended the home into this new area, uh, which drops down a teeny bit you got your electrical panels behind us here. And through here, we've got great uh, freezer space. Uh, there's a little room right here they've used to use in the past. It's really just storage right now, but uh, for like uh, cold storage, okay, for canning, things of that nature. And then back through here, I've got a great workshop, okay? So anybody, uh, handyman, mechanics, whatever you're working on in the house, this is a great space to, uh, for a workshop. Yeah, a lot of hidden room down here, especially for the workshop type of things. Um, but just all over a well-maintained basement. Yeah, very dry. I mean, he's doing woodworking here. All the wood is very dry. It's very, very, uh, um, you know, nicely kept. Good amount of headroom, so you don't have a low ceiling. And right out here, you have walkout, okay, into the backyard. And again, uh, I feel that sea breeze come in um, as you walk out here. Uh, a great view into the backyard, okay? And uh, check this out here, it's sunset right now, a little after sunset, sun's gone down. Right there is the, uh, the Mill River behind us with the tide starting to come in, really, really cool. So, head back inside. Now, from the kitchen, we've got an amazing porch off to the side here, so let's go check that out. Okay, really nice. So, you can come up to the porch right here, right, this is the, uh, Behind us here, that is Flat Cove. Behind us over here, uh, straight away ahead of me here is the uh, Mill River, right? Okay, and uh, look at this porch. I mean, this is unbelievable. You have basically facing the uh, entire lawn off to the right here, house off to the left, and you have access to this porch from multiple spots in the house. Yep, you got actually two doors right here for this porch, and then there's also a porch on the front door where we first came in. Yep, so from the back apartment that we, um, we're we gonna show you in a minute, you can also come back out from the apartment in the back and to the porch right here. Uh, the property has got pear trees, apple trees, uh, cherry trees, uh, and also blueberry patches. So you have everything that Maine is known for, uh, for, for, for fruits. And so really, really a pleasure to, to reach off the porch almost and grab yourself an apple. Yep, yep, a lot of great parts of this property and that's just one of them. Yep, now at the end of the road, where we walked off in the beginning, I did want to mention at the end of that road is a floating dock where you could, uh, you could launch a boat off of. Yep. Right, the dock, the dock does belong to the current owner, but he's told us that anyone that buys this house uh, is able to use that dock, but you certainly can launch a boat from there as well. Okay, perfect, so off to our right here now. Uh, the kitchen comes in, entranceway, walks through, we're gonna walk out into the living area of the house. So, um, really nice kind of open layout, if you will. It flows, it flows really well. And again, we're gonna come into this corner here. Um, and what do we got in the corner here? But more windows with amazing view out now to the Mill River, which is a tidal river. So you have about an eight foot tide here. The tide will flow in this water. When the tide is out right now, the water will come up pretty close, not to the house, but to the edge of the green line back there. Not sure you can make it out here, but um, again, just amazing views to be sitting in a place like this. Yeah, I think it's one of the most important parts to mention about this place is just the amount of natural sunlight that's getting in here in every room. Absolutely. Okay, so continuing on, we have the main living area. Okay, and which way should we go, Dylan? Um, over here to the first okay. bedroom and bathroom. Okay, so off here to the right, we have our first bedroom. This would be basically the, I guess, the master bedroom on the first floor be used as okay we've got uh, again a window with views out to the pond and um, to the uh, 
to the water as well. And perfect. And then right across to this bedroom. So it's kind of like a suite. Um, could be closed off as a suite because there is a, a, a entranceway right here, but essentially a, a full bathroom to service this bedroom over here. Okay. So and the bed and the bathrooms are large. You have essentially you have a tub in here, um, and a stand-up shower. So really, really well appointed, well fitted, uh, a very nautical feel too. Yeah, for so? sure. Yeah, I definitely. Mean, I mean, the pre current owner is uh, a, lo a lobsterman, so. Uh, it probably counts the nautical feel. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Perfect. So we're back to the living room now, walking into um, the next section of the house, which is essentially like a small den or a sitting area. Okay. And behind us again, some windows looking out again towards the towards the view, towards the playground they have outside there. Remember, we're on us about we're on about 20 acres of land here. Yep. So it's a tremendous amount of property to really uh, to enjoy, and this is being sold. All together as a package, so you won't find this really um, almost anywhere in this part of the state, quite honestly. Here it could be basically a small bedroom, or just a maybe even a uh, workplace. Yeah, you know, small, little... small office bedroom. Yeah. Okay, depending on what you want to make of it, you could certainly fit a twin bed in here. Wouldn't go much more than that. But again, a window opened up with light going out towards the uh, towards the western side of the house, towards the Mill River. Okay. Now we're gonna walk through here through a full bathroom, okay? This full bathroom opens up into another room which is currently being used as a small office. Okay, and again, lots of walk-in closet, lots of large closet space here. We'll see that upstairs in particular, a lot of closet space in this house. So we have a small um, kind of office space right here and walking back out through, the, uh, through another full bath. So there's two and a half baths on this first floor level. Okay? Correct. Perfect. And then over here is another room. So this is a good size bedroom here. It was easy to fit a queen size bed. Lots of light again, lots of natural wood. I love what they did with the wood here. Okay, uh, kitty cat sleeping on the bed. So, uh, it looks quite comfy. And again, really, really comfortable. A house is a very warm feeling. It's very comfortable. The wood, hardwood floors throughout are really, really nice. And now across here, so where are we at for bedroom count? Right this is number four, I think. Three or four. It depends how you would count it. This could be the third or the fourth bedroom, right? But it certainly is a nice size room. Um, could fit a queen size bed. Right now it has a twin in it um, with really nice windows that open up. Again, there's an outside porch there. We'll go outside a little bit again to walk around. A really large porch going on this side of the house, okay? So now we're going to come out of this bedroom, make a right turn away from the front door. And we're going to go back into what it becomes essentially the addition or a full apartment on the back here. This apartment is going to be uh, a two levels. The second level is going to be, we'll get a walk upstairs. It's actually an artist's studio, which it's amazing. Um, but look at this, very, very spacious. Okay, we've got a great kitchen over here. The only thing right now, the fridge is not uh, currently in place, but certainly plenty of room for it. So we've got a fridge, we've got a, a cooktop in here, um, custom made cabinetry. Again, that, the character of the room, all butcher block counter surfaces. Yeah, I love okay. the style of this room. And also this table right here mm -hmm. with these windows set up to the water. It's, there's nothing like it. Yep. And again, we've got the kind of the sun setting off to our west here. It's about left almost four in the afternoon. So the sun's coming down pretty low. But again, if I turn back behind me here, you might be a little bit too bright. But those corner windows, look at that right out there. With an amazing view out to the Mill River. All right, so now from the kitchen living area of the apartment at the back of the house, we're gonna go check out the second floor. We've got a bedroom and an artist studio. It's unbelievable. Um, as we walk up, before we get to the stairwell, I wanna point that off to the right here. Uh, we've got a half bath. So remember there's two and a half baths on this level. Two towards the front of the house, right? And then a half bath right here. And then upstairs, we're gonna see the bedroom, a full bath, and the studio. So. Let's go check out upstairs. Okay, coming up to the second floor here. This room is filled with light, okay? Windows on every wall, uh, views on every wall, skylights in the ceiling. Um, so this is really uh, an artist's paradise, should we say? So let's just check this out. Let's go right over to the bedroom here. And again, you know, you're gonna notice how when they built this house, um, there's a full bathroom up here. We'll go in there in a second. 
This window again, a little bay window looking out onto the, the Mill River, beautiful view. Really spacious room, really comfortable. Yep, and also the sunlight right here, it's right over the bed, so it's a great natural lighting in here. Yep, natural light coming through and a really large um, bathroom. Lots of space. Good. Lots of space, um, set up for, um, you know, kind of, you know, for someone that might need extra assistance getting around, you've got handrails, you've got a, a walk-in tub, okay, large vanity, and then a uh, walk-in closet here, okay. Nice closet space. We're going to see a couple, a little more closet space out here. Uh, remember, this was an artist, was designed for an artist. Uh, that's also why it has so much natural light, because if you want to paint or, or draw, the skylights bring in the natural light, and it's just, it's just a pleasure to, to be able to be creative there. You got this wall of windows here, all the way through into that corner there, looking out to Flat Cove, okay, which goes out to what, what bay? Naragoyas? Naragoyas? Naragoyas. Okay, I think so. Narag oh, out to Naragoyas Bay. Okay. <laughs> All right. What I wanted to show you here large closets. Okay, this is a large closet with lots of built in storage. Let's see if we get some light in here to see that. Okay. Perfect there. And around me here, kind of a, a dark room is being used here, but more of a projector to project onto the, so they could trace, right? Like a light box. And Again, another huge closet over here uh, for art supplies or anything you want to store in particular. So crafting, people who are into crafting would love uh, an opportunity like this to have a, a space like this. Check out this closet, amazing, okay? And again, overhead projector, so you want to project and, and trace, really, really cool, okay. All right, so there you have it, a short, quick tour of an amazing property here in Harrington, Maine. Yep, it's amazing. It's 307 Oak Point Road, and, you know, we took you through it. You can see the features for yourself. It's absolutely gorgeous. Yep, remember, we've got water on both sides. I mean, fruit trees, 20 acres here uh, in Down East Maine. It doesn't get much better than that. So, what do you think? I don't think it can be beat.